players. And he, he has... said there's a Maver missing, probably. Uh, yeah, uh, per perhaps. <laughs> oh, he he actually did. tested versions 30 to 40 with me, I think. So he, he's, he has play, played a lot. Uh, so there's a, a scout plane that you can control at the right top corner to give you vision on certain areas of the map. Uh, you can click on it and then click somewhere on the map and then it moves. I'm not seeing it, and it's also not showing oh, it if may I can be A. Uh, it may be under your Supreme scoreboard if you have that. Oh. So you need to close the Supreme scoreboard. The Supreme scoreboard is not doing the campaign UI check yeah, properly. Yeah. Yeah, can you see it? Yeah. Oh, there you are. Yeah, that gives me a real Command and Conquer Generals vibe. Yeah, pretty cool, right? Somebody who played that game, I can't believe it. Huh. Actually, the, the first survival I did was on that. that. Oh, the Iron Defense, that survival cool. map there. Yeah. There were survival maps played in that game? Yeah, yeah and they were quite... I don't know, I, I played some and some were like really poorly made. Did you do Art of Defense SE4? Oh, I can't remember the like the actual names of maps, but I probably. did a few of them. He probably really did it. <laughs> it's nice how there's a really large uh, group of people that just want to shoot stuff, essentially. Because let's be honest, like a survival is literally about shooting stuff. It's yeah, just, I guess. It's it's pretty much about that. Okay, so we win in 24 minutes. Uh, if we get so to we can also control this RT installation? No, mm. so the idea is that the artillery stations, they were offline and we got brought in because they were turned online for some operation that is outside the map. Um, so they're essentially assisting some operation and now they're being triangulated by the enemies. You'll see some scout planes flying over soon. Um, and that means they're found. And in which case, that is the moment that we need to uh, defend them for as long as the operation needs them. That's kind of the story around what's going on here. And we're toying, Wester and I are toying with an idea to make the operation that is like... A sequel what, or a prequel, we, we don't yeah, know. Yeah, it's, it's the thing in between. It's not a sequel, it's not a prequel, but it's like... The it's thing that happens at the same time. Yeah, <laughs> um, well, you'll, you'll see. You'll see. You'll, you'll see at some point in the future, two years later, you'll see. Yeah, this is quite uh, unique with the max expansions and so on. Actually, it took yeah, me it... a bit to realize that I should get more than my core max. Uh... Yeah, like this map is all about expanding. It is literally the more the longer you can keep your expansions, the better you'll 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 sustain everything. Yeah. So how aggressive uh, does it make sense to be on those expansions? Um, you basically clump as much units as possible in front and reinforce it with PDs. Yeah. So the idea of the expansions is that. It doesn't really matter how much mass you produce, the enemy will always send the same amount of units. So the more you have, the the more mass you'll have, and that's always a good thing. Entropy, I trust in you, so... <laughs> no pressure, you know, it's the rating. Yeah, it's, it's just always, a raid. Always the, the problem with raiding is that it's raiding. <laughs> I'm already stolen 300 energy since I haven't played the normal game since forever, so... Well, you just, just might be slightly misplaced there. I kinda hoped um, you are gonna get a thrill of a normal game um, once in a while, you know. Yeah, you know, I haven't... 
Dom, like the last time I played a ranked game was a year ago and it was Astro Crater. Like the last time I played a normal map is like three years ago. So. <laughs> oh, that's pretty long. Yeah. Yeah, I've just been doing survival maps. Yeah, well, right you are. So five maps are great, you know. I'm not biased, but you know. Yeah. They're really, really great. Really great. The bestest. You're totally not biased, you know, but Yeah, of course not. I am as honest as I can be. For this map, of course. Units are slowly pouring in. Don't forget to uh, assist the radar. Yeah, I'll send some engines over. I'll send an engineer as well. Is upgrading to tier three? Uh, oh, yeah. it's, it's yeah, trying it's to open. upgrade to tier three, but it's it can't. Open. It needs it needs like our help. It's being a little bitch. The radar that is. Do you think you can get a troops Wester that we can overrun this thing? Uh, I can try and muster up some units, yeah, sure. Because if you can manage to take that, it would be insanely nice. Yeah, we can most certainly try. 20k mass later. the types of units you build? No. He's a good programmer, but he's not that good. Come on. Uh, it actually did initially. Oh, come on. But it made it less fun to play because, you know... Too OP? Yeah, so people kind of want... You kind of want to have some approach to a dominating strategy. That feels dominating. Let's put it like that. You want you want something that feels dominating. You don't actually want it to be dominating, but you want people to feel that they're doing good. Like for example, you're allowed to build walls, so that it feels good, right? Because you can build walls. But then people forget that if you build walls, it also means that I'll send more artillery at you. Well, people don't know that. I know that. Exactly, but that's like people want to feel empowered without realizing that they're actually screwing themselves over. You think he can send some units down here? 
I think oh, we can have it. Yep, I'm sending some. Right, we got it, that's pretty dope. Nice. We have overflow on, right? Yep, I'll flow it over. You just do that, and I'll be happy. Giving some master entropy because he's not he's well. Are you doing okay entropy? I don't know. I've never played this map. I know. Yeah, I'm just asking. Is everything kinda okay? I think so. That's great. You're doing fine. And also uh, try to get uh, lots of reclaim. Wh why did I build a T3 massive structure? Why the fuck did I do that? I don't think he's doing well. <laughs> Just joking. There's a T2 platoon walking straight between us. Yeah, I can see that. I'm trying to intercept. When is the radar gonna be done? Don't know. Any, like it's only 60% right now. It's because we're not actually sending in a ton of engineers to help it. I'll send a T2 in.
There's a pretty big platoon walking up here. Got the red light on at least. That's a start. Alright, we need to watch out for the nuke though. Oh, six minutes. I think I'll, I'll manage that. I'll take your word for it. Uh, the platoon is heading straight for your base from a side angle. Side angle? Uh, oh, they're not talking to me. We're leaking on this side, it's exposed. Yeah, mm, I'm working on it. Can you help down here a bit? If you have any yeah. feet. Yeah, 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 sending stuff. Wait, there are multiple followers of enemies? There's two yeah. of them, yeah. It's to show that the behavior between those units may be different. So it's an, a way of helping you out. Helping. Well, to color uh, there's a very fancy name for that that I can't think of right now I'll take your word for it it's color blocking no I don't know this is it it's supposed to help you identify behavior uh, but just just take my word for it it's fine <laughs> I'm taking your word for it Is a uh, radar. Does it seem to have a very long range? Yeah, yes, it does. Oh fuck, it's gone! I'm building another one, don't worry. Oh. That's why I didn't see anything.
Uh, the, um, we got a problem with the nuke in three minutes. Yep. And when I say we, I mean me because I'm probably the one that's gonna get nuked. Okay. No, I don't help with this. Um, it's right there. And it needs to be sieged. And there's uh, two platoons here abusing the fact that this was exposed. I can't make an SMD that fast. And it may target anything really, so... I don't think an SMD is really worth... Maybe I can walk into my com. Well, I can. You put the SMD here... Yeah, and... yeah that would help. It would, it would cover a lot. Oh wait, how big is I this? I think you can walk in with your com if it's upgraded. It is gone and T2. But then you should be ok, I think. Unless there's a big platoon walking straight up your ass and then you're fucked. No, I should be fine. Uh, where did the experimental spider bolt spawn? Oh fuck, we can't it, see it, it now. Not, it's not spawned, uh, spawned yet. Yeah, it has, it has, but we're not seeing it because we have no radar. Wait, so if you don't have radar, you don't get the thingy like it shows you the monkey lord? Yep. That never happened. Hmm. I think it's here. No, I don't think so. It's it's a combination of platoons together. Well, I hope it's not there because we literally have nothing there. Are we just guessing our luck, or...? Nope, I found it. I'm dead. You found it? Yeah, with my com. <laughs> oh, fuck you. That's what I meant! <laughs> Unless you get flanked! <laughs> Bye. Alright, you know, we can, we can come back from this, that's cool. I think I got away, actually. Well, What's the, the monkey is probably heading for your base. The platoon is following you, though. It's right here. Yeah, I'm dead. Commander, can you read ah. me? Ah. Uh, hell, I think the commander is dead. Don't, don't lose the radar. <laughs> it's just. Yeah. Wait, we die if ACU dies? Yeah, if yeah. ACU dies, you die. Oh, it's I think you should have mentioned that because I almost lost my to some RT. Now you know. Um, you guys want to try again? Yeah. Sure. All right, I'm gonna reuse. When I was talking about the SMD, I did not realize this is a twenty by twenty map. Yep, it's pretty big. It doesn't look like it, right? No, but that's because you're starting from the center. Even so, like, it's so flat, like, there is no, not much actual, like, visual cues you can use as for a scale, you know? Although the decal work is quite impressive. It's not done yet. But There's you more... upgraded the map. Yeah, 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 I upgraded it significantly. But it's uh, it's far from done yet. There's more. There's more to it. And then there's uh, so there's another bug that right now we can't see the experiments are spawning anyhow because there's a bug with the base code that got recently pushed in, and it's gonna get hot fixed next week. So even if we had the radar, we wouldn't be able to see them spawning, which is kind of bad. But you know. You can see the platoon spawning, so that's that's great. If you see a place with four platoons very close together and a unit in the center, that's where they are. Unless it's a monkey lord, because it's stealth. 
Yeah, too, but then just focus on the four platoons. <laughs> yeah, like like I did um, with the loyalists right now. Yeah, exactly. But 